This week, Sarah moves the teenage chookies somewhere safer. I set up a better composting system than what we had. And a four-legged visitor finds something amazing hidden under the wood piles. <laughs> Stick around, guys. Welcome to our channel. So first thing I want to address is, yes, I've become a person that wears dungarees, <laughs> unwillingly. <laughs> so I spends way too much time editing out my crack. <laughs> Ain't nobody got time for that. So that should make her life easier. <laughs> I also bought these awesome, awesome shoes. I had bought them last year as well. They lasted about a year, which is kind of a miracle for me because I'm quite savage. <laughs> and yeah, they're steel toe, um, they've got an amazing sole, super comfortable, and they're breathable, and they are awesome. So if you want to get a pair of these, we'll put the link in the description below from Amazon. And yeah, I definitely recommend them. They're Luke-proof guarantee up to one year, which is pretty good. This last week we had four days of solid, solid rain because there was a cyclone coming in off the Atlantic and it came all the way here, kind of the edges of it. It wasn't crazy with loads of wind or anything, but we did get quite a bit of rain, which was really, really nice because I didn't have to water for four days, so that makes a nice change. And we also had one day, the last day of the rains, we got to see a double rainbow. <laughs> Yesterday we were walking home and I didn't have the camera because it's been raining and it was the most amazing scene I have ever seen over here. I know that it's going to be really hard to top, but just behind me there was a huge double rainbow. I could see both ends and I could also see the colours on the trees. That's how close it was of the rainbow. The trees changed colour to the colours of the rainbow. And there was a rainbow from just behind our ruin all the way around to this side. So it was like that. And then me, the goats, Molly and Timmy passed from underneath it. It was, it was magic. It was a magic, magic shot, which I will always have in my head, but I really wish I had got it on camera because it was amazing. It's a double rainbow. What does it mean? So today I want to set up a better composting system for us. For the past four years we've only ever had one bin, which is right here. And now I want to set up a three bin system so I can make quicker compost basically and move it along. And while one is breaking down, the other one is curing. So I'm going to do that over here against the fence. And probably I'll continue with our future recycling center build along this fence also. So even though I've got my old compost bin over here and I was thinking of using them, they're already all rotting. Four years touching the ground. Um, so I'm going to use some new ones. Now for those of you that don't know, in Portugal it's really difficult to find free pallets and if you do find them most of the time they're a bit smashed up. Um, but you can buy them for uh, normally around 350 to 5 euros depending on the quality and type of wood so that's what I did I went to my local garden center over here and I bought four of them to use for three bins but thankfully I've got the back of the fence for the back because otherwise I would have needed another three so at least I'm only using four 20 euros it's worth it good. Now last time I didn't do protect any of the bottom of the pallet over here when I did the, the other one we had for four years and it's rotted away at the bottom obviously. Now this stuff is a really good water barrier. It's basically um, bitumen stuff. So the paint, I don't know, maybe six inches from the bottom or the top and then flip them. So at least they last as long as possible.
<clears throat> Alrighty. I think that should do. While this dries and maybe wash my hands, I'll leave you with Sarah. Hi, today I have some pretty exciting news, but first I kind of want to give you a tiny bit of a catch up. About a month ago, one of our chickens, Tiny2, got broody and sat on a bunch of eggs and seven of them hatched. I had moved these seven chicks into a cage because they couldn't come into the coop with the other chickens. And then Tiny2 got fed up. About a week ago now, I used to have to carry her into the cage, kicking and screaming. She just didn't want to be with the babies anymore. It's like she said, okay, my work is done. Now it's your turn to take over. So take over, I did. Because the nights are getting slightly cooler now, I decided to move them out of their cage because they don't have the mummy love and mummy warmth anymore either. So we have uh, two sections in the chicken coop. One was the guinea fowl section and we're not using it because the guinea fowl have moved in with the chickens. And the chickens were only using the section just to lay eggs in. Today's moving day. It's moving day for you. One. <laughs> One eyed Willie's next. One eyed Willie. Four. <laughs> One. Come on, guys. One. Go. <laughs> they don't want to come out. Believe it's wet out here. Look. Look, you have your mommy there. Look. You have your mommy. Oh, no. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. Wow, Tiny really didn't want to have anything to do with those babies. The second I tried to get a baby out, she tried to attack it. So I moved the nest out of that section too. And this section is just for babies. One. Are you the one with only one eye? No, two. One. That's your new home. You can check it out. Come on. And seven. What a fuss. What a fuss. Look at you, you can fly now. And you like your new home? So you made all that fuss for nothing. Okay, now the chickens can come and they can look at you and get used to you. All this new space that they had did not last because we got an unexpected surprise. But first, let's go see if that bitumen stuff dried for Luke. Alrighty, they seem dry enough. Got nice clean hands now as well. Quick tip. If you don't have any heavy duty hand cleaner to get rid of this stuff off your hands or even engine oil and stuff like that, just a bit of sugar or even sand just for grit, a bit of diesel or petrol and some liquid soap. And then wash your hands and it all comes off. Sweet as. Right, let's flip these and start tying them to the fence.
Maggie, Maggie, turn. Wow! Maggie. And sit. Clever girl. Clever sit. Clever Maggie. Okay, no more. No more. Let's go down. Let's tell them about our unexpected surprise. Can you tell me? <laughs> is that is that what you wanted to tell them before? Hmm? Is that what you wanted to tell them? If you enjoyed the video so far, why don't you hit the thumbs up button? That's what he says anyway. Eh? Because that's the way you can show us that you're enjoying our video. Eh? Is that what you wanted to tell them? What else? What else did you want to tell them about what? Oh, and if you haven't subscribed yet, <laughs> subscribe. And he also wants to know if you like his beard. So let us know in the comments below. <laughs> meatball, if only you could talk. Daisy, I'm with my hands full with meatball today. Meatball, you're being a good boy, eh? Ugh. I try not to think where his face has been, eh? When I give him love. Because otherwise it's pretty gross. I'm excited to tell you about our unexpected surprise, but first I want to welcome Karen to our Patreon family. Thank you so much for choosing us to support. We really appreciate it. And Daisy's here for the video. Come here, Daisy Pie. Daisy, want to say hi? No, because Daisy wants a lot of love today. Now, I don't know if the girls are pregnant yet or not, but Daisy, a couple of days ago, started playing up a little bit and I had heard that when they get pregnant their characters change a little bit and she kind of blanked me for a day which I hated but now she's back to her old self again hey daisy 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 pie so let me start at the very beginning because it's a very good place to start we had some lovely company over and they have a channel too you might have heard of them they are Carissa and Ewan and Frankie and Diogo of Frankie's Off Grid and we got to know each other a little bit better, shared stories about, well, our YouTube life as well. And we had some delicious veggie burgers that Luke made. And we were also entertained by Frankie, their sausage dog. And she was putting on a little bit of a show for us because she knows a lot of tricks. And both dogs are so well behaved. They're a really good influence on Molly because she does need good influences. Sometimes she can be, you know, led astray. And this goes to show what nice dogs they are. Molly who doesn't like sharing anything and doesn't even like female dogs, let Frankie eat one of her bones. That is incredible for me. Incredible. Just when they were about to leave, we noticed that Frankie was messing about in a little, well, we have a bunch of wood anyway. And then she comes out from a little hole with a bunch of feathers in her mouth. First we thought that was weird, and I just thought she found feathers lying around, but there were quite a few feathers and Chris was like, oh my goodness, there's a lot of feathers here, guys. So we looked and all of a sudden, Tiny, the chicken that we have been looking for for ages, which I think we only saw for three times in the last three, four weeks. She ran out racing, screaming her head off because obviously this dog had given her fright. But then we took a closer look at where she was hiding and we saw that she was sitting on a bunch of eggs. So that was the mystery solved that we hadn't seen her for a while because she was broody. And then they left and we didn't even give them time to get home. Luke messaged them and said, oh my goodness, guys, there are two baby chickens that hatched already. It's insane. Frankie finds them that same day they both hatch. And the most incredible thing is that if Frankie didn't find them, I have a feeling before we noticed, Timmy would have found them because that next day, Timmy was stalking the nest. They're hatching, so we need to desperately find that chicken and get her back to her nest. Oh my goodness, Maria stresses of of good life. Real life chicken of good drama. <laughs> go on, Tiny, go back on your eggs. Tiny, why? So we're desperately trying to get Tiny back into her little hole, which by the way, we're going to have to change for her because she shows the most terrible place. Tiny, you have to go to your babies. She's gonna go in the coop. Okay. <laughs> Let's see, this should be fun. I'm gonna take it to your babies. Come on. I don't have so much of your wing missing. Okay. You're gonna go back to your babies, please, okay? okay. You're not going we to haven't seen you. her in. Five we saw her for a flash <laughs> five days ago. Hold on, you don't go to your babies. 
Okay, shh, 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 shh. calm down. She tried to bite, <laughs> bite me with her baby. Peck me. You have babies hatching, you know that tiny? You have babies hatching. They need your warmth. They need you now, it's getting very windy. It shows a stupid place, by the way, to lay your eggs. Well, we didn't find her. Yeah, but I can't put food, I can't put water. Because it's not very safe there for children chickens. It didn't even give me time to think, to tell you the truth. I had to think, where am I going to put these babies? I can't leave them there. They're too much in the open and it's too dodgy to do like I did to Tiny Twos. So I decided, let me move them into that nest. It's not so far away. Most of the chickens had hatched till the morning. We had nine. Are you hungry? Come on, babies, you can eat. There's water there. Okay, that was a very close call. Timmy almost took your, your babies. Papa, you can't protect them like this. You can't. Timmy will take them. Stop, stop. I know you're getting annoyed. So this is for your own good. Come on. Oh my goodness. Calm down. Calm down. Go in. Go in. Go in with your babies. I'm pretty sure this has nothing in it. Come on, they need your warmth. Shh, shh, shh. Oh my goodness, this one's so cute. This is not for you, those chookies. Those are mummies. Those are mummies, chookies. That's not for Timmy. Not for Timmy. Okay, guys, I think you are safe now. The other nosy girls have come to pretend to have a drink, but they want to see what's going on, eh, girls? <laughs> Just sitting on her head. So the babies settled in their little enclosure and so did Tiny, but I got super duper paranoid because the rains were going to come, hi Daisy. The rains were coming and as I'm looking at the place where I put them, it doesn't look too good for rain. It's at the bottom of a hill. That's already a bad sign. And I don't know just how waterproof the top is anyway, so I decided to move them yet again. So after a little bit of stressing, a little bit more swearing and a lot of sweating because it was getting very hot. I made a cage inside the guinea fowl section's enclosure where the babies, where the teenagers were already staying. You're going back to your mama. Look at them. Cuties. Okay. Oh, how much better I feel, okay. Since the seven baby chicks, who I refer to as teenagers, are growing up without a mother, I have become a mother to them. I spend a little bit more time with them than I used to do before. And I watch them and I notice little things that they like doing and getting to know them a little bit better. And while doing this, I notice that one of them always wants to be close to me. Now she's always trying to get up on me. So I, I did try one time to put her on my shoulder and she stayed. Wow, that's cool on my shoulder. Hey, what's your name? Oh, cheeky. Little Chucky on my shoulder. Don't do a poor on my shoulder, please. In one foot. Come on, two. But the next day, I decided, let me not pick her up and see what she does. Come on, show them what you can do. Come on. Come on. Up, 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 <laughs> I'm trading one chucky because she wants to be trained or he. Can anyone tell me if it's a male or a female yet? 
how can it be made? So now I'm going to try and train a few chickens because this is the first time. I've never been super close to my chickens. I try to get close to them. They are free range, but they do like staying next to us, especially when we have food, but never this much contact. Molly, look at the chicky on me. <laughs> so this is the first time for me. When the bigger animals, I train them immediately. I kind of know what they're capable of. Or if I notice them doing something that I like, some behavior I like, I give them positive reinforcement, give them treats, and they start doing that behavior. So it's a lot of repetition and I love training my animals. But I've never even tried with chickens. This is my first one. And I have called her Polly. Thank you, Luke, for the name. Is it time to go home? Is it time to go home? Hey. It's time to go home. Everyone's coming! <laughs> Everyone's coming! Let's go home, guys! Let's go home! Okay, Molly, okay, okay. Everyone wants to go home, but I do want to thank Corinne and Hans for my beautiful boots. Thank you so, so much for your super thanks. I did buy them from the Amazon wish list that we set up. And the super thanks button is right here. So if you want to tip a content creator that you enjoy watching, then this is the way to do it. Hey, I was a bartender for many, many years, so I obviously love this tip button, but there's many other ways that you can show that you appreciate our videos, like commenting and hitting that thumbs up button. So thank you very much if you do so. Look at them all waiting to go home. <laughs> look, look. This is when I know it's home time. I guess you guys are staying. <laughs> Maggie. Pepper. Good girl, Maggie. Good girl. Maggie. Good girl, Peppa. I'm gonna put it for Peppa. Clever, clever. Wow, hello. Ready. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> So what did you use there? The front, the front yeah, side, the I old used one. Yeah, the, the old compost bin. Mm -hmm. I just took off the back, so it's lighter. And for now, we'll use this. I thought might as well, you know, instead of wasting it. Okay, because you said it away. was rotting. It was rotting. The other ones were much worse, but these are pretty good, eh? And then in the future, when they go, we'll make new ones. They're really black, Luke. Did you paint them with the bitumen? No, silly fool. <laughs> That's the uh, diesel with burnt oil. Oh, I see. Yeah. So I thought I might as well protect them since we paid 20 euros for these pallets. I thought, <laughs> let's try and make them last for as long as possible, you know. <laughs> Fair enough. But what about leaching? You're not worried about that? Mm, no, not really. I mean, the diesel carries the oil into the, into the cells of the wood and fills it with the oil so water doesn't go in. Mm -hmm. So I don't think it'll be a problem. And most of the time, I don't think it's going to be like touching the whole sides. There is the mesh in between as well. So True. I think it shouldn't be a problem. Nice. And yeah, I raised it off the ground. I was going to tell you, I'm uh -huh. seeing something different. Because <laughs> before we had it straight on the ground. Yes. But like this, raising it off the ground and having the mesh, the mesh allows all the air to come in, but oh. not any pests. I see. So it doesn't go anaerobic, you know, you have air coming in from the bottom. Okay, because the first thing I thought was it's going to be hard to mix it like we used to. I think we'll be okay, because the, the pitchfork is a bit like this. So if we scrape the bottom, not the pricks <laughs> yeah you know what i mean and just we'll get used to it and i'm going to put down so i just got um because we've been putting our scraps and whatnot for the past what two months i think yeah um, more than in the, buckets maybe. just because I, I i disassembled the old compost bin a few months ago before i hurt my back and then yeah with my back i couldn't do any of this kind of work so we've got a bunch in in, in buckets I'm just going to lay some of these at the bottom so there'll be more air and it doesn't just block it. It just gives it some pockets of air. So I think I'm going to chuck in the 
comp the stuff that we have composting in buckets in the middle one so we can start a new one here. Okay, very good. Mmm, it already looks like it's composting. Yeah, that's why I said I'd put it in the middle one. And once we're talking about, well, once I built a compost bin, so we're talking about composting, we just mentioned the things we don't put into the compost, and that is anything yes. citrus, meat, dairy, and onion, because onions keep worms away. So there's your extra paper here. Oh yes, I wanted you to add it to that. <laughs> From the time I made paper, that's been in the water for... <laughs> oh, it stinks! Yeah? Ugh. Well, it has been for a few months, so the water's smelly. Okay. <laughs> we did go on a bit of a wild goose chase for our pitchfork, which is an awesome thing, by the way, but we'll find it eventually. <laughs> yeah, and I'm going to stick it on the side here, so we'll, we'll start having places for things, so we're a bit more organised. Looks good. So now we'll start putting in the first one, yeah? Very good. So we'll this leave we'll leave this it. One. And what do you have planned for the rest of the fence? Look, I know you're going to do some other things. Next, I think Dirk left these and we've got a few that we bought from Maxmat as well. But I think ours, they don't close like this. So these are really good. So for glass, you know, if we're going to wash mm. them and start collecting them, we'll be able to cover it and I don't have to create a... Yeah. And so next to this, I think, I'd probably put in a post over here, which will help this from pushing out and then hang this here like that. And we can have browns, like cardboard and stuff, storage for it. So it will be right next to the compost bin. And then maybe another one with bark and sawdust for when I'm, when I'm milling. And then we'll start with the recycle center with the bottles, a place to clean the bottles and dry them. Um, and we have to decide what else we're going to keep, like tin cans and yeah. whatever. Very so good. that would be all along here. I've got a water source over here as well for the compost and to wash the things. Very good. Finally getting yes. organized. Yes. And I wanted to I want to do this before I start on the outdoor continue on the outdoor kitchen because I'll be debarking all the, the logs there. And if I don't do this before it'll just end up being on the floor or using those small sacks that disintegrate. Yeah. You know, like this, we're gonna be super organized. I take off all the bark, boom, put it all in here. Mill, put it all the sawdust in there. Very good. One, two, jump! Okay, come over there. Molly wants to see. Wow! That looks Molly, what's the other one? Let's see the smelly one. Let's see the other one. Wow. Alrighty, that's about it from us this week. And you'll see us next week at the same time and place. Take it easy, guys. Bye. Ciao, ciao. Is it home time for the taco? Is it time to go home, Pat? Hey, Maggie, what about you? Oh my goodness. Okay, a little bit of a body rub for the papa. Okay, I'm moving my head. Oh my goodness, you're so cute. Even you, Molly, you stay. <laughs> I can rub both your bellies. Wow. You ready? No, <laughs> okay, you're not ready. What? What's that? Okay, Meatballs just told me that he wants to tell you guys something.